Beaverbrook Arena. Miramichi and uh, something happened here about I say about what two or three weeks ago and we're just gonna have a little look see media has to get their facts straight okay that's important it's all right for a, a mate a feel good story but what the hell am I talking about? Okay, I'll let you know in one second. Okay, so there was a news flash last week, or last week, two, three weeks ago, that uh, a homeless woman came <clears throat> the homeless the homeless woman was found in Miramichi in the closing bin uh, she was seeking shelter from a storm this is the shelter okay So they broke it, I presume they broke it, a woman came up in there, she went in, and she couldn't get out. And next thing you know, a member of the Miramichi police arrived here and found the woman inside, and they said, they said this happened a lot across Canada. Now, she seeking shelter from a storm. Okay, it's a big storm. There's no heating device in there. Just trying to get the facts here. There's some uh, Tim Horton down there. Or I think this would be a good place to seek shelter. But then I made my investigation and what I heard was uh, the woman was no saint and she just went there, she possibly could steal something of value. So, the woman wasn't there to seek shelter from a storm. And what's the odds of the cops to arrive here during a snowstorm and knowing there's a woman in that bin? Anyway, what concerned me about this was a homeless, homeless person found the bin. Now, there's no such thing really as homelessness in Miramichi. I do not believe so. I haven't seen it. The panhandlers are even polite. You go by in Newcastle. <clears throat> uh, may I, excuse me sir, may I 
may I interest you in making a donation? Very polite. So they want money for a cup of coffee. But uh, that this story here was blown out of proportion. Come on, media, investigate.